and I still do but I always wanted to have like a dessert shop but I wanted to take a, like an Asian take on it instead of just having a regular dessert shop so I, I travel a lot and I picked up some ideas and I've noticed nobody was doing it in the States so I, I had to do it. And this cheesecake, it's a jiggly cheesecake, right? Yes. <laughs> I saw all the people's yeah. Instagrams with this jiggly cheesecake before I knew it was yours. So is it something, where did you find it first? Did you have it in Korea or? I actually had it in Japan, mm -hmm. you know, when I went to Japan and um, it had this bouncy uh, souffle type of cheesecake. They were very good, but I wanted to give like American uh, twist to it. Back in the days, uh, like, grandmother and grandfather used to call cakes cakey. Oh, so there's no yeah. like real translation, it's yeah. just the way your grandparents said yeah, cake. Yeah, yeah, they would call it cakey. <laughs> it might be a Japanese influence, but it's instead of cake, they'll call it cakey. And that's why I got the name from. And I know you guys basically, you bake throughout the day, right? Yes. But you sell out almost every day. Yes, almost every day. Uh, and we bake every 30 minutes. So we're constantly baking. We're trying to keep up with the demand. That's great. So let's go inside and try some of this. Of course. Come on in. Okay guys, so we're inside now and I have my friend Gina with me. She is known as hashtag Gin Buns Eaten on Instagram, so follow her. Um, she's kind of a foodie, so I thought I would bring her along to try some of these amazing cakes. What do we have, Mo? Just out of the oven. The Tarts came out, so I want you guys to try the tart, and it's nice, warm, and gooey. The wow tart. The wow tart. <laughs> okay. Wow tart. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be more. I like a little salty too. Mm. Yeah. We make it a little savory, not too sweet, and we have to bake it right or else it gets overcooked and uh, we lose that consistency. And is this something that you just made up in-house or is this also something that was inspired by your travels? My travels, they, they had something similar in Japan mm -hmm. and like Korea. It's like, and like throughout Asia, it's like a huge uh, phenomenon. Like it's so popular. Mm. But I wanted to, do, once again, I wanted to give a New York take on it. Now we're gonna go into our bouncy cheesecake. It's like halfway between a souffle and a cheesecake. It's like, you know, it looks like it would taste lighter and like a lighter consistency, but it's weird because it's really deep and rich, but it's also very like, yeah. right? I like that it's very savory. It's mm. not like... Not like overly sweet, right? Yeah. Mm. This is the... Castella. Castella. Or in Korea, they'll call it uh, Dewan Castella. It's an egg. Uh, cake. So it's very light, it doesn't have much sugar in it, and it's made with uh, 48 eggs. 48? Yeah. Per this one? Per Actually, the sheet. whole tray. The, right. whole, okay. yeah, whole, the whole tray. <laughs> Each one has six of them. Wow. Right? Yeah, so it has a lot of eggs. Some people have it with bacon, you mm. know, you know, uh, for breakfast. I'm thinking like toasted with butter. Yeah. No, that would be so good. With a little uh, maple syrup and you a little bacon. Cup of coffee. Yes. Oh my god, totally. Okay. All right, Mo. Thank you so much for letting us try this out. I'm like, need serious coffee now. And like, <laughs> yeah. uh, but this but is like so delicious and continued good success here. I mean, thank you for coming, Julie. <laughs> 